Assassin's Creed Mirage has way more secret tricks that you probably did not know about. Yes, you can skip breakable walls and way, way more. I want to start with a really cool stealth trick from Quinton who reached out via the input at Giraptor.com email address just like you can. I rarely hide bodies, it takes too much time to pick them up and find a place to put them if there's like even anything close by. So it's super nice to know that there's a way easier and faster trick to leave no traces behind. And you might know about the third tier of the throwing knife that has the corrode body perk. If you unlock this, then on a throwing knife kill, the enemies will immediately disappear in front of you with this really cool sand effect. Also in the chain assassination, which kind of cool. So then the enemies you killed are simply gone. So no other guards will look for them. And nice is that you can actually pick up your throwing knife even after the body has disappeared. If you have the knife recovery skill. You have to be quick though. I did some tests and if you kill an enemy that disappears and don't immediately pick up your throwing knife then it will be gone, so you will lose it. But now Quinton figured out that if you throw a knife on a dead body, they will also disappear right in front of you, which is kind of wild, meaning that you don't actually have to kill the enemy with the knife for this effect to trigger. So you can just go to a camp, assassinate someone, and then immediately throw a knife on their corpse, and they will disappear for good. So walk over them to recover your throwing knife, and rinse and repeat. Or after a big fight, just land a knife in each body to destroy the evidence, and completely clear the battlefield of bodies so other enemies in the area won't find it. It's really a game changer. I got way more tricks like this to go over. Of course, a quick like on the video would really help me out. So thanks for that. And subscribe for more Mirage and Assassin's Creed videos in general. But first, the sponsor of this video, MU Origin 3. The open world game that breaks the traditional 2.5D style of MU that I played actually back in the day. And changes it into a full 3D MU world with free land, sea and air exploration. There are many bosses and enemies to take out that all drop powerful loot that you can use to enhance your equipment but it's all about you if you decide to look glamorous or intimidating like style is key and you create your own character first and have many options and can then for example explore the huge open world on foot or on the back of a mount you can also take on other players in cross server battles that are all about fair competition and they just launched a new mysterious realm called world of god like there's a big new mu origin 3 version available right now so download it for free via the special link in the video description this would really support the channel as well so thanks for that and now let's get back into it Another strong stealth tactic is one from Swedell that lets you quickly take out a group of enemies with two tools. First, to throw a noisemaker to get the enemies close to each other. Now the noisemaker will only trigger for three enemies, so if there is a big group, then throw another noisemaker to get them all close to each other. Because then you can throw a smoke bomb and hit them all. And this is a smoke bomb with both the durable smoke perk and the choking fumes tier 2 perk unlocked. I have the flammable smoke too as like a tier 3 perk but I don't think that is needed. Like it's mostly the choking fumes that deals damage over time to the enemies and on the normal difficulty the enemies will go down from this tactic. Only brutes might need an extra smoke bomb so then just throw an extra one when the effect almost wears off so you can get them too. On the heart the enemies will only have a very small percentage of their health left over probably by design so then also follow up with that second smoke bomb. Don't throw it immediately after the first one though but wait and they can take out every group without them spotting you. This next one is crazy so in Valhalla we had a tactic for the breakable walls as well just use the incendiary powder trap ability and the wall would break so no need to look for an oil jar. But with no abilities and no bow in Mirage, this was of course not possible. Well, until I read the comment from Sasek G4684. Because with the trap and the right perks, you can namely still blow up breakable walls, so skip the whole puzzle. This instantly makes the trap one of the best tools in the game. So for this tactic, you need the Whistle Trigger perk and the Deadly Blast Tier 3 upgrades. And if you then throw the trap against a breakable wall and whistle, the wall will break 
really as easy as that. Like, I want to do a hard playthrough on stream very soon, and then I'm immediately going to unlock the trap and go for this upgrade to skip every puzzle I've already completed in my first playthrough. Like, this is going to save me a ton of time. So, amazing trick. I'm not sure if they will remove it. They did not do it in Valhalla, but they did nerf the trick to remove the bar doors in Valhalla, and I tried it, but with this trap tactic, you sadly cannot destroy bar doors from the wrong side. Would be cool if we found, of course, a way to do that as well. Now, what Drogon found and shared in the comments under my recent video is nice for people who are kind of missing a bow in Mirage. It, of course, makes sense that Basim doesn't have one, but, well, he can still snipe enemies if you use the right combination of perks with the throwing knife. So that would be the extended range, sharp blade and light blade. So first you will not be able to hit the enemy, but then charge up your shot. And then when the glow around your knife appears, you can insta-kill the enemy while you're very far away. So the targets won't know what hit them and you can still kind of be a ranger in Mirage. Like the regular bows in the previous game would not even reach this far. So pretty cool. Again, thanks Drogon for sharing this tip. Another nice thing for a potential new playthrough is the tip from Joey. You namely don't need the break fall skill to reduce damage when falling. If you namely hit X on the PlayStation controller or A on Xbox, just before you hit the ground, you will reduce the damage of that fall by a significant amount, as you see right here. Now, I'm not sure what the key is on PC, probably the same that is needed to climb or that you need to press to launch yourself when doing the Assassin's Focus. But yeah, I don't have the breakfall skill unlocked and still get reduced fall damage. So maybe you're wondering, and I was curious as well, what happens when you do have the breakfall skill unlocked and then press the button right before you land. So well, you actually make this more professional roll that looks kind of cool. The sad part is though that you still take the same amount of fall damage as when doing the automatic roll from the breakfall skill. Wish it was different to kind of like reward people for being a bit more professional. But yeah, right now if you have the breakfall skill unlocked, you don't have to press a button just before you land for less fall damage. Unless you want that cool roll, of course. Stainless also shared some nice tricks. One involves doing a backwards dive from a few points that you do by going a bit below the viewpoint like this. And then pressing backwards with the stick and once again X on PlayStation, A on Xbox. And you will do the cool backflip in the haystack. But Stainless was like, let's combine this with the Assassin's Focus to take an enemy out. And to be fair, that does look pretty cool. And to do the trick, you sometimes might need to use a noisemaker to get the enemies closer to the viewpoint. But a more useful tip from Stainless, also regarding the Assassin's Focus, will let you very easily stay hidden. And of course, upgrading the ability to take out more enemies makes this tactic even better. Basically, look immediately for an escape plan. So take the enemies you want to take out, even kill one next to another that you will not take out. It doesn't matter because if the final target you take out is far away and out of sight from other enemies you will be successful and not alert it while you did take down five enemies so the other guards in the area will of course be like eh, what happened but yeah they won't know what happened and you are still hidden a very nice trick and even though we have a nice trick to get rid of bodies you will obviously still have to carry some people or other objects in the game and if you like the armor piercing throwing knife upgrade instead of the corrode body one then yeah, you will still be carrying things around. Either way, Toasty Vampire has a great tip when you namely carry stuff, you want to slide because then you're way faster. Like the speed increase is really noticeable. You will, after sliding, have to press the slide button again to stand up and then immediately hold that button so you're able to slide in rapid succession. But once again, a kind of a nice pro tip to make things go a bit faster if you want. And in my previous tricks video, I showed you many ways to take out that otherwise annoying mercenary that comes to hunt you if you are wanted level 3. Well, James said that you can also just drop the lift on the mercenary's head. Just make sure that the mercenary is close when you use the lift. Look down and bam, you easily got rid of him. Totally check that previous tricks video out if you haven't already with way more cool things like this by clicking on the screen. And subscribe for more Mirage and Assassin's Creed content. If you got cool tricks, let me know in the comments down below. Check out MU Origin, of course. Find the link in the pinned comments. That would really support the channel. And I will speak to you very soon. Goodbye.